never found this brand. We're gonna go thrifting today and I have a very special guest. Mark. Yeah, boy. Hello. <laughs> so Mark and I are gonna have a thrift challenge. We're gonna try to find the most valuable thing in the thrift store. Are you ready for that? So ready. <laughs> okay, because I know that's your expertise, right? This is like what you do for a living is you thrift. Just kidding. Mark is a CPA and he actually specializes in doing reseller taxes. Taxes! So are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. This is not my typical day. Here's the twist. Whoever loses this competition has to do the other's taxes. Okay. <laughs> According to my comment section, they always say, I cannot ever find the stuff you find. Uh -huh. So there's good stuff. You just have to know what to look for, I think. But I think if you dig long enough, I'm here for hours. And that's one thing that like, maybe you guys don't see. I'm here for hours to find like a cart full of good stuff. So it takes time to, but I, I think there's great know, brands in Utah. I don't know if I can handle hours. Are you you just speed it up a little bit? Was <laughs> okay, Mark, this is extremely exciting. First find of the day. This is Anthropology Pilk Row. And these are some boyfriend jeans, which style-wise are pretty good. They have to be the right style or they won't sell. And I'm seeing comps on eBay that are like 35 to 45 bucks for these. Okay, so Mark, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these home. Everything home today, right? I'm going to, in my inventory spreadsheet, this is just an example I wanna yeah. give everybody to like know that this is a very simple way to do your inventory system. I'm gonna put it all in, everything I get. So line item one, pill curl, boyfriend jeans. Everything I get today, I'm gonna to divide by, I'll just do an average cost. Does that sound good? Or should I do every single item, $6 for this? Like, what would you do? I would just do average. Yeah. You, you could do that, but average is better, especially when you, we're dealing with lots of items. Okay, I would just divide it then by, let's say I get 20 items today, that's my average price. I put it in, I put the SKU, I put the date I bought it, and we're good, right? Does that sound good? Until it sells and any notes that I need. But does that sound good in the date that it sold? Is that, Keep that's pretty, sold. yeah, cast gets sold. That's important by the yeah. end of the year, right? Okay. Okay, so Hudson's a brand that sold at Nordstrom. It's expensive, but these are the Krista Super Skinny. And skinny jeans are not moving right now. It's all about the wide leg, distressed, uh, Janko jeans, it very much depends on style. Very, very much. Okay, so I'm just asking, are you looking at brand as you flip through the pants? Like, what's the first thing you're looking at? Yeah, brand, for sure. Brand and then style. Like, these are Miss Me's, which are, <laughs> they just are a consistent seller. They have the bling pocket. They want 10 bucks for them, which just isn't worth it. So we're gonna pass. But if this was like at the bins, I would 100% grab these. <laughs> bling pocket jeans are good. All right, Madewell. Hey, you've heard of, you've heard of Madewell, right? Uh, Madewell jeans, you have at the mall? You've never seen, oh my gosh, Mark. <laughs> you and TJ would be best friends really? because he is the exact same. Um, these are the Cali Demi boot. And this is, Madewell can be hit or miss, but this style is a consistent seller for me still, so I am going to pick it up. Hey, I have some new jeans for you. You said you were looking for some new in-style jeans. Mark, we just found our first like grail of the day. Ready? Okay. Teach me. We got some free people overalls. There it is. Free people is a great brand. These retail for over hundred dollars and they're still selling decently well. For I would have like, blown right by that. You would have never known. It was hiding it right under your nose. These would probably sell for like 50 bucks. Let's say like I'm not doing an inventory tracking system at all. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been, I mean, we're at the beginning of the year. So this is a great time to start. Totally. But let's say I'm not, w what do I do at the end of the year when I'm like, I, I gotta do my taxes. If you're not, the best answer is like, do better going forward. Yeah. But as far as what's already happened. It doesn't matter, it's in the past. I mean, you just have to use whatever support or documentation you have available, which might not be a lot, but you do, you might have credit card statements or bank statements or receipts. Um, and you'll have your actual inventory that you've purchased. Yeah. For that's still on hand. Yeah, you just have to go back and make some estimates using all that stuff. And worst case scenario, that's what I would encourage you to do. Nice. So there's like, I don't know, there's over a hundred of these racks in here. Yeah. Are you gonna go through every single one? No. Okay. Do you want me to? Uh, Does that sound like, a, that sounds like a really fun day actually. I gotta get out of here. Okay, so Mark quiz. This is a, this is an okay brand. But what do you think it is about it that makes you want to pick it up? Um, I don't know. They look a little, a little baggy to me. Six dollars. That's good. It's not ten. Right. These are curvy, perfect vintage, and they're a good size, size thirty, which is a more like when a size is super, super tiny in a jean. That's a lot harder to sell. It's a lot like more. It sits for longer. But if it's in a more universal size, then it sells a lot better. And this style has sold well for me. So because of the size, because of the style, curvy we're gonna grab it. Nice. So Mark, now we're in the activewear section, and if this is a this is a litmus test, if you actually watch my channel, 
<laughs> what is like the, probably the top thing I'm looking for? Chick-fil-A. In this little section here. Top brand. Lululemon. Oh my that it? gosh. That That's, That's exactly like it. <laughs> So Mark was just telling me he worked for a summer at a thrift store. And yeah. what did, how did, so you guys sorted things. Uh-huh, I worked on the dock, if you can call it that, and we, we sorted all the donations. Oh, and, and how did you price it? Uh, and we also had a pricing gun on occasion. So we would just sort of say, that looks like it would cost $3. Oh my gosh. Cost $5, and I was like 19. So. Oh my go. gosh. So That's you're the you culprit. That's why find such good deals, yeah. That's why I find such good deals. It's the 19 year olds. Okay, just stumbled across some Zaya. Five bucks. A good size. It's a 2XL. And it seems to be like brand new with the tag still. So this is like a little mini dress. So Zaya, actually, we were just talking about MLMs. This is an MLM. And we were talking about Lula Rich. If you guys haven't seen that, it's a crazy documentary. Anyway, so it's a it's an MLM, which means these are, you have to like go to someone to buy them and they're a little bit harder to find. So when I do find it at the thrift, it sells really well. I just sold a men's pullover for like 40 bucks. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. So Mark was timing me during this whole rack. See how fast I went. How fast did I go? Seven minutes and 38 seconds. I don't think that's good. Yeah, I it, actually thought I went faster than that, but that, so that's bad. And there's about 175 of these in the store. Oh my so gosh. So if you do the math, that's like 1300 minutes. That's that, okay. In an hour, you're looking at 22-ish hours. If you want to spend a full day here. It would take 22 hours? Oh my gosh, that's actually very enlightening. That's enlightening. <laughs> Another made well. How much is this one? They want three bucks. So that's super cheap. And this one is from spring of 2022. So that's like really recent. So as you can see right there, it says the style number and then SP22. That means this came out spring of 2022, which is how I knew it was recent. So I think this will sell great. Um, you know, again, the more recent with Madewell, the better. I haven't had a lot of luck with their older stuff, but I think for three bucks, this will do just fine. Okay. I think it's time for us to split up. You still have plenty of opportunity to find the most valuable item today. Loser has to do the other's taxes and buy lunch today. So are you up for it? I'm up for it. Either, either way, it's tax deductible. Hey, that's all that counts, right? Good luck, Mike. Godspeed. Okay, so we're in the dress section. And this is Matilda Jane. Does this still sell? So this is a very expensive brand. Um, but I don't know if it still sells on eBay, so I'm gonna look that up. Okay, so verdict is, I think this Matilda Jane's worth picking up. So let's go ahead and grab it. Well, this is kind of cute. This is really, this is like a boutique brand though. And then we've got like a, another little grail, a, a Sundance wool dress. It's really pretty. And Sundance, as you guys know, is one of my absolute favorite brands to find. So for eight bucks, I think this could sell for like, gosh, at least 40. Oh. I've never found this brand. I'm so excited. I've never found this at the thrift store and I wanted to forever and ever. Show me your moo moo. This is the floral, it's like a garden robe and it retails for $84. And this, like if you find their, this is like a lower tier, but if you find like dresses, they can sell for hundreds. It's a very, very popular brand. I'm so glad I finally found it. Okay, first of all, sorry, I've lost my voice, so that's why it sounds scratchy, but this is the Show Me Your Moo Moo robe. I think it's so cute. The dresses sell for a lot. Um, the robe's not as much, but it's a really popular brand, so even though it says like Moo Moo in it, keep your eyes peeled for it for sure. So the sleepwear section is actually, no pun intended, slept on sometimes <laughs> because, you know, you think, oh, it's just nightgowns or whatever, but they can, there's things to look for in the sleepwear section. So things I'm looking for. Barefoot Dreams is a really good brand. I'd say they sell like robes and pajama sets. I'm always looking for like Victoria's Secret silk robes. Those do really well. Show Me Your Moo Moo is obviously fantastic. So things like that. But there's some good stuff hiding in the robe section. Giraffe at Home, I've mentioned that, is a robe brand that sells really good money. So you never know. Guys, the grails in the sleepwear section today. This was just hanging like Put away someone must have like grabbed it and then put it back or didn't hang it up so i look at it it feels nice i can't see a tag then i look fiori this is a fiori jumpsuit like romper jumpsuit full length I, i'm gonna look up cost but fiori is a very expensive brand this could sell for a lot of money <laughs> yeah guys this is only six bucks and this fiori jumpsuit will sell for seven dollars 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the Viore jumpsuit and I think it's really cute. It's just a little too short for me. Like I think it fits decently well. It's just a little bit too small and too snug. I don't know what size it is actually. I can't find a size tag. My guess is it would be like a size small. So if it were me for like personal use, I would probably go up a size, but yeah, it's really comfortable and really cute. Like I think it'll sell really well. And I'm super shocked that this sells for like $75 on eBay and it has an amazing sell through rate. So look for the little tag here. Viore sells really, really well and really fast. I just got the hugest hit of dopamine of my life by finding that. For me, thrifting, it just, it never gets old. You're gonna what? You're gonna bring me something. Yeah. I found, I found something I'm semi confident about. I'm gonna grab it. Okay. I'm gonna bring it to you. Okay. And let you assess. I'm so excited. Um, you guys, okay, this is, these are just Steve Madden, right? Which I don't always pick up, but this is a very recent style and they're basically new and they're like a sock boot, which I think is really on trend right now. So I think these will actually do really, really well. So yeah, here are those sock boots. I don't wear heels like basically ever. Um, I married a short king, so I just don't really wear heels, haven't really missed them, but you know, it's fun to just slip them on just for the heck of it. But yeah, I, I will be selling these and I'm seeing decent comps, so I think this was a good pickup. And then these are some Sun of Force, Nike Sun of Force sneakers, Lowe's, triple white. They are a little dirty, but this is gonna be the best project, you guys. I'm going to clean these up and customize them and it's gonna be so much fun. So when I customize things or clean them up and repair things I share it on Instagram or TikTok so make sure you're following me there so that you can catch the update on those I'm so excited right ready? now yes I'm ready all right oh my gosh these okay are leather studded okay combat boots yes as far as I can tell from my perfect very cool the brand is Chelsea and Violet okay they're 15 bucks okay you know what I'm extremely impressed Somebody has these for sale for 90 bucks on either. Really? That is very cool. These kinds of combat boots are extremely on trend. Chelsea and Violet's not a super great brand, yeah, bigger, but bigger. you know what? In honor of you, I'm gonna pick these up. We're gonna list them. <laughs> and when they sell, I'm gonna Venmo you the profits. Today our show's gonna be all about money, honey. Okay, so we got some Ted Baker flats. I had to look up the style just to make sure it sells and it seems like it does. So let's give it a whirl. It's a very expensive brand. They're in decent condition. So I'll polish them up and I think they should do just fine. Okay, Mark, I've got a very important question. I am going on a trip with my kids. We're going to Disney World and on a Disney cruise. How do I write this off? right off your cruise and the trip what do i need to do <laughs> to ride it off i mean it, most of it has to do with the primary purpose of the trip yeah so if you there are certain items that you can only source on a disney cruise mm, there are then you could you, <laughs> gosh you got me on camera i don't know if i want to definitively say uh, but uh, but that's the general idea okay you can you can say in generalities i mean the so disney if cruise I is a little tougher but if like if you're going to a, a reselling conference in florida yeah then obviously you can write off that travel. Yeah. And you can bring your family with, and you can yeah. stay an extra day to go to Disney World or whatever. Okay. And you can't write off that extra day, but the overall travel to and from Florida, you can deduct that. Okay. Since the primary purpose was business related. To look up Nike, you just would Google Nike and then that six digit number, you can add the other three, but that's like the color and it'll pull it right up. And then you know exactly the style name and you can look up exact comps. So at five bucks in pretty clean condition, I see a pre-owned that has sold for almost 50 bucks. It'll probably sell for like, I'm guessing like between 30 and 45 for me. Okay, so we got some Vans. These are my son's size actually, and you know what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clean these up and see if he wants them just as is, or I can customize these two, but I'm always looking for decent brands for my kids, and these are perfect. Mark, did you pass by the Debu section? <laughs> you might have missed the Sorel Joan of Arc Dick boots. I did, I did see those. Did you see them? 10 bucks, are you freaking kidding me? I just bought a brand new pair of Sorel boots my, for myself, and now I find them at the thrift store. The combat boots that I chose were one row above, three <laughs> feet down. I was way off. So Mark actually has a tax guide. It's the Reseller Tax Academy. It's how we have done our taxes the last few years. It's how we learned everything and empowered ourselves to get them done super early in the year. So super exciting news, Mark. We got our taxes done January 3rd for 2022. We're all done. We're all caught up. We sent them to our CPA. Unfortunately, Mark is not our CPA, 
we've had one for many years that we use, but he's a fantastic CPA and he does do taxes. Are you taking clients right now? Yeah, I got a little bit of wiggle room. So right. There's somebody out there who needs help. Okay. You guys, he's the best around and he is familiar with reseller taxes specifically. So he knows everything about like when you're thrifting, when you're sourcing, when you need to deduct inventory, cost of goods. He knows all of that cash versus accrual. And the reason that we enjoyed tax the tax academy so much is because we Again, we empowered ourselves to learn so much about keeping our numbers organized, keeping my business thriving. This last year was the best year ever because I knew my numbers and I knew what to focus on and what not to. And our taxes are done for the year. We don't have to stress about it come April. But yeah, it's really just about how do you optimize your tax situation? Like what are the things you need to do throughout the year that are gonna empower you to be in the best situation possible? So I use the word optimized a lot because it's really about if you're making more money, you're going to pay more tax, but how do you not overpay? Yeah, you know, yeah. How, what are the strategies you can use to really make sure that you're in the best situation possible as a reseller? I mean, it's tailored toward resellers. Yeah, everyone who I know has taken it has loved it. Had, if, of course, like you have to take action so you can take it, but you need to like put those principles into practice. Again, you can focus on all, all this stuff that is really painful for me, but really exciting for you. Right, exactly. So if you guys are lucky enough to be watching this the week it premieres, or the day it premieres, you are going to be able to capitalize on the steepest discount that this course has all year long. Like this will not be discounted again, quite like this. You can still get a good deal, use my code, but the best deal for a hundred bucks off is right now. So take advantage of that. January 31st through February 2nd is the biggest, steepest discount of the year. So you definitely want to take advantage of that if you haven't already. We just honestly cannot recommend it enough. Me and TJ, we absolutely love it. Link is in the description. Check it out. Top link in the description. You do not want to miss out on this guide. Okay, $137 is your total. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You too. I'm gonna quickly add up. Like we gotta see if we get Chick-fil-A today. It's been too long. I haven't had Chick-fil-A in a really long time. So I believe these are the Sorrel Joan of Arc Steak. I didn't look them up specifically, but they I would bet TJ's Green Smoothie that they are. That's a hundred bucks. Okay, so hundred bucks plus let's do like 40 on these plus 45. We're gonna go on the low end because I just am I'm conservative. 50 bucks fine. You can do 50 bucks. Fine. We've got these Nikes. I would say like 40 bucks. These Ted Baker flats, probably like 25. I'm so nervous. All oh, the Viore Grail, 75 bucks. The Madewell tea, let's do 25 on that. The Zaya dress, 30 bucks. The Show Me Your Moo Moo, I think this will be like 40 bucks. Madewell jeans, 35. And then let's do another 35, 50 bucks, 30 bucks, um, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. 35. That's everything. Okay, what's our grand total? My eyes are in the sun. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guess? Uh, 600. 680. Oh! Okay. Green smoothie time. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I think you can handle it. The wits, we did not hit $1,000 teach. Oh, so we are I gotta have green smoothies. Have green smoothies. You ready? Ready. Okay, I want, let's just try it together. I've had it many times. I hate it. I want to see what you think. Okay. Good thing they're delicious. That was gross. Give it a give it a taste rating out of ten. It's not bad. I can't quite put my finger on what on the ingredient, but <laughs> is it like ginger or something. Ginger is in here. No, it's earth. It's not the worst green smoothie I've ever had. See? So delicious. I'm exaggerating, I guess. I hate it. You gotta get used to it. What was that? <laughs> so you drove all the way over to my house. We thrift for hours, and this is your reward. I'm really sorry. That really stinks. Darn it, dang it all. I'm just giving Mark a tour of some of the inventory. I mean, I've cleared out a ton of space and consolidated a lot because I'm making room for all of this stuff that just arrived today. But Mark, I have, okay, so this bag here is donations. These are just things that haven't sold for a long time and I'm just trying to clear out space and I think they're kind of duds. When I claim that donation, do I claim the resale value of those items or what I paid for them? Yeah, if, I mean, if you're just donating them from the business, it's just gonna be what you originally paid for it. Oh. So you basically just deduct it as cost of goods sold. Okay. Because it's as if you're selling it for zero dollars. Okay, okay. So that means like anything I could have sold it for, like even if I threw it up on Facebook Marketplace and sold 
sold it for 25 bucks, that would be a smarter business decision than just donating straight up. Yeah, fin financially, yeah, financially. You'll, you'll squeeze out more profit um, if you sell it for something yeah. than if you just donate it. Mark is saying, yeah, like I could get 25 bucks, I don't know, 10 bucks, but it's mentally, do you ever think about like the mental costs of like, mm -hmm. do I want to take the time to list and to deal with a seller and deal or deal with a buyer? And sometimes it's just worth the donation of, right? And the, adding that into cost of goods. So also guys, you may have noticed my hair is slightly more blonde. It's phase one. Don't be too critical of it yet. It, it's going to be in phases because my hair was so dark. This to be pretty for you two, this is a write off, right? Mark, my hair, my hair coloring services, things that makeup are all of these things like write-offs <laughs> yeah unfortunately that's one area where the irs is a little bit more picky okay just because they say if if you know even if you do it for your business and for your videos if you carry it with you or if you benefit from it outside of mm -hmm. work outside of the business then they're gonna say that's not deductible oh i mean if, if it were a wig or something that you put on and took off for your videos uh, yeah that'd be more clear cut but this one um <sighs> is a little more of a stretch okay not a lot of people know this but i have a mini fridge in my office with Diet Coke in it. Mark, is that a business expense? <laughs> I think that one is unfortunately not a write-off. Ah, this is the pillow that Riff got me because Riff is the best editor in the world. So Mark gets to hold it while he chats about what is a write-off. So like, what would you say are some write-offs people are missing? Because you don't want to miss your actual business deductions that could save you money, right? So mileage, is that a good one to like track? I mean, e even just with our trip today, you just want to make sure that you're getting the the obvious expenses that you're incurring for your business. Like we we drove to the thrift store, yeah. so you got business mileage. I mean, we purchased inventory, so that's cost of goods sold deduction. Uh -huh. We may or may not have stopped for lunch. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about business, so that was a business meeting. Right. Uh, I mean, you were, you were recording a lot on your cell phone. A uh -huh. lot of people don't really Realize they can deduct the, the business portion of their cell phone usage. Awesome, yeah. Even though they may not be paying for that with the business, you know, card or whatever. Well, Crewy, did we learn a good lesson today? Oh yeah, mom, I can't wait to do taxes when I grow up. Yeah? We're not gonna go to jail, okay? We're gonna do everything right. <laughs> All right, guys, we learned a ton today. It was so much fun. Thank you, Mark, for joining me. I know thrifting isn't your jam, but it was really fun to have you. And I think we talked about a lot of really important stuff. And I think we had fun. Did you have fun? That was gross. Tons of fun. <laughs> Are you going to quit uh, being a CPA and go be a thrifter instead? I, I am looking forward to go doing some tax returns. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.